Another year, another Grammys. Since this year's show fell on a public holiday, allow me to break down everything you need to know because you were definitely pissed yesterday. Billie Eilish reigned supreme. The bad guy won record of the year, song of the year, album of the year, and best new artist, aka the big four awards, making her the youngest artist in history to do so. It was also a big night for Lizzo, who not only opened the show with a bang, but took away three Grammys, including best pop solo performance for Truth Hurts. However, the shadow of basketball legend Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna was cast over the entire show following a helicopter crash that saw the death of those two just hours before the ceremony. Alicia Keys and Boyz II Men performed a powerful musical tribute to Kobe Bryant and the basketball legend got shoutouts from Lizzo and Lil Nas X in their musical performances. Tonight is for Kobe! As for the performances, this year was actually pretty great. The Jonas Brothers debuted a new song with poor Nick flexing some food in his teeth. Demi Lovato made a comeback that left no dry eye in sight. And Camila Cabello showed a whole bunch of home movies as she walked up to her bawling father. Actually, yeah, that one was kind of random. But the best performance by far goes to Lil Nas X who brought out Billy Ray Cyrus, Diplo, BTS, and the Yodel Kid. As for snubs, let's just say the Aryanators were not happy that the biggest pop star in the world right now left with absolutely nothing. Although she did get a little shout out on stage though. Can I just say that I think Ariana deserves this? <laughs> Thank you next got me through some shit. Also, Louis Capaldi copped a snub from a random person. In a tweet, he said, A lady at the Grammys has just come up and offered to take my seat because she thought I was one of the people who sits in the chairs to fill them when someone gets up to use the bathroom. Did she realize we were getting kind of used to seeing someone we loved? All in all, it looks like the Grammys finally have their own uncontroversial Ricky Gervais, as Alicia Keys was undoubtedly the best host in history, parroting Louis Capaldi, subtly directing Dua Lipa, all the while rocking double denim. <laughs> what a queen. So it looks like the Grammys have continued their tradition of indulging in one artist with all of Billie Eilish's wins. Do you think that'll change next year? I guess we'll have to tune in to find out. <laughs>